Away we go. Uh, it's unlikely I'll be able to afford the polychrome. So, we just try and get our first shot. That's three fives already. Not that that's necessarily good. Unless we hit the fourth five. This isn't good enough. Kind of happy that flesh builds suck for gold, otherwise people would be bored much of it. Yeah. Um, especially with how prevalent flesh builds are early on in nearly any run. And also just like how prevalent they are on lower stakes runs. Money. Just need a nine or an ace. Oh, I kept the jack instead of the king. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, it paid off, but that was not what I meant to do. Seems like most gold stake builds need direction. I mean, every deck needs direction. Well, I guess at lower stakes you can just kind of win by playing the cards, <laughs> no matter what they are. But, I mean, decks need a direction. That's true of uh, just roguelike deck or games in general. We barely got through that because I do not have a point scoring joker. Yes, I do. Oh. Dual scaling. Oh. Oh, no. Why must you make me decide? I mean, it's got to be blueprint, though, for the long run, right? Is this compatible? It is. All right, what have I played a lot of? Full house flush, high card, two pair. What are we discarding? Aces? I feel good about doing that. Two pair is our highest molt. Couldn't discard these aces if I wanted to. I think we actually keep the three, ditch the seven. Oh, okay. It's good we have this mail and rebate. Okay. Uh, I want this, even though it's early, just so that I can farm up the, uh, the pants and the... Just need a multiplier now, and we're well. I need chips and a multiplier. In a crazy gold stake, I think I blew where my end game deck setup was: green joker, burglar, square joker, and kino for, as the only X molt. I had one where I did something similar. It was green joker, uh, square joker, burglar, and like I bought both plus hand vouchers, but my hand size was already was like at at five, it was either at four or five cards, and my my plays were always just draw hand, play hand, draw hand, play hand, draw hand, play hand. <laughs> All right, uh, dis we're not discarding these eights. I, I'm more concerned about scaling right now. This is currently more molt on the uh, 
And now I can discard the eights. And I want to move this over. Move this back. Just need to find another pair here. Just go ace high. Oh, we might be dead. Good thing I have those ex that extra hand. No, we'll be fine, right? Okay. And we hit the final two pair, at least. Jeez. Good thing we bought that voucher, or we would have died there. More of a kind... Probably not even worth the uh, $9 right now. We don't need additional flat scaling from the fortune teller. Hmm. This is already an econ joker, so I think I just need a multiplier for the uh, not dying thing. What are we discarding? Sixes. Okay, I need to pay attention to which ends up being... So after the next two pair, this will be bigger, right? Okay, we want to get rid of the six. Move this over. Six. Nine's not great. Ten's not looking great. The face cards look fine. So we just ditch the, uh, the jack. Of course. Uh, I can't afford to pitch the... Sixes now. There we go. It's all sixes and sevens. So these will be at parity now. The jack's probably got to be bad, yeah. Okay. And then if we do get to the final hand, I do need to, like, move the blueprint over. And remember to do that. This is pretty good for this type of setup. I don't think I want to add cards to deck right now. Must play five cards. It's going to anyway. Okay, so this is... They're the same. This gains two, though. Discarding tens. I don't have any. What if we do uh, one of these? No, not probably not like that, though. But maybe like this. Just guarantee that we hit a two pair. Jacks are worse than nines right now. Tens and queens. We need to... Uh, no, we're in the right spot. I don't want to... I'm not greeting the money right now. We're just going to get out of the uh, mail-in rebate as soon as we can. You're welcome, uh, Luis. Glad you're just as addicted as the rest of us to uh, Bellatra now. Let's buy and use this. Go next. We want to take as many rounds as possible for the sake of the pants. This could... No, that's not an issue. This is just free with the Acrobat. Mail-in rebate is on fives, of which I have none. At present, at least. Discard here. Max interest initiated. Go back over here, win the round. Get more money from the hands as well. These don't seem great. Stone card, because we're lacking in chips right now, and we can play it alongside a two pair. I'd love another chance at my friend Square Joker, though. Jack, 
we have one of those. Just need to send them off right now. Hello? There we go. Three fours, one three, so get rid of the three for sure. Aces and eights. How many queens? I think this just clears, so it doesn't matter. I mean, we could. So leave me at 34. Probably just buy this, because long term we need to reroll. Wait, you guys are actually addicted? I thought we were all here just doing research on what the degenerates were doing, <laughs> like all those pundits who have grinder profiles. Yeah, that's what they're doing. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kali, for the bits. Uh, bonus cards or strength to make... Like, it's been kind of hard to find our two pair, right? Can make a bunch of jacks. That'll make it easier to... Hit two pair, I suppose. Does it, though? Marginally, maybe? Alright, we want to keep the jack. Six. Okay. That was a bit of a goof. Uh-oh. I need the molt from the two pair, so I don't want to make a... Uh... Uh-oh. 20 time. I mean, we still probably get there, right? We just don't get any good value off of the supernova. I also missed some money off of the mail-in rebate. I was too focused on finding the two pair. I don't like banner as a... Uh, even with the extra discards. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at some of these. It's not bad. Hangman to delete a two and a three. Definitely want to get rid of the two. That will help. We could also increase these threes to fours. I kind of just like deleting stuff. Made your pants strong and now they help you for when things go south? Yeah. I also, the problem is I also made the supernova strong and that's meant to help me when things go south too. Uh, we want to get out of 10s and 2s for sure. Uh, let's molt up these uh, jacks since we're going to be playing them often. Use this. Looking for Uranus. Probably sell out. I got that one track mine going again. I don't want aces, but I do want jacks. Aces are too unreliable. Our kings looking kings are better than queens. Uh, me, when I'm a misogynist. Let's uh, get a Celestial pack. I don't... Ooh. Okay. I mean, that's two pair, right? Um, I'm not a huge fan of seed money on gold stakes specifically, just because, like, you really, really want to be spending money. Okay. I think your time is done. I'm using interest to get money. I don't want to lose rounds anymore. Or even run the risk of doing so. Siege money is such bait on gold. Yeah, okay. I'm glad to once again have that sort of intuition validated by someone with experience. 
Uh, how are kings looking? Kings are fine. I'd love to get rid of this ace, but like it makes it not be a two pair, which is bad for the supernova. I know what you're saying in the YouTube comments already. Raffle, or, uh, full house and buffs the spare trousers, you dummy. But there's more to think about than just the spare trousers, you dummy. Uh, but the thing is, like at higher stakes, you need to actually spend more aggressively because the blinds scale so quickly. Stone codes actually good. They seem so bad. Uh, yes, they're they can be quite good when you don't have a chip generator like we do. But that is now changed. Minus one hand sizes, not great. Well, we're just getting no banner value. We should still be fine here. It's just not ideal. All right. Nine is played for sure. So nine, nine, four, and two. And we play the queen. We keep the eight. The eight is the only keep here. too many eights. Is there anything with a high, high probability of hitting here? Nine is guaranteed not to hit. Six could reasonably hit. Five, yeah, I think we keep the six. Like, this should still carry. Just because of all the effort that we put into the uh, the pants early, but... And that's annoying. Kind of want to buy this. Because I do want to get out of the banner. I'll roll once more. 10 molt for a sealed card every... Yeah. It's a flat 10 molt. We can do this as well. I wonder if it gives me the same one. But it fixes my hand size a little bit. And makes it much easier to hit two pair. I'm not going to worry about getting seal value here. So much as I want to worry about not dying because our hand size is only temporarily large, right? Those cards get added to my deck so I can get seal value off of them later. I do need a more reliable multiplier than just the... Uh, uh, I have a lot of jack. No, I only have, I have more queens than jacks now. Than just the acrobat, though. Like, this is. Just not good enough for, uh, like, long term scaling. It's good in that, in the moment, because it gives me more time to set up the, uh, like, the the pants and supernova farming, but it's bad as soon as, like, once we get up to the higher antes. Got a red seal ace. Get rid of the two. Wait, what is the blueprint doing there? I moved the wrong card is what it's doing there. Eights or nines. They're the same. Keep the queen. Queen. 
Move the wrong Joker. Thank you. Timely as always. Yeah. Not super strong yet. That's a Uranus though. Might be the first one we've seen of those. Base cards are debuffed. It's honestly not the end of the world. Again, I don't really get my score from the uh, uh, chip values. Let's just run it through. Do lose out on quite a lot of molt though. Should have additional eights because that's got a seal on it, so I'll keep it. The seal tells me that we've added additional copies to the deck. Same thing with the seven, but we're running light on sevens right now. Nine is definitely a no-go. I think the six is the keep, if we're keeping anything. I've chosen wisely. Suppose we play this. Seven, there's only one additional seven. Still have a lot of jacks, so we should probably just make room in hand to try and find the jacks. I know it doesn't give me points, but it will give me the scoring possibility from the two pair. I mean, Jack's almost always hit here, right? <laughs> 46 pants. I mean, we could go with the telescope long term. We should probably wait to see if we find, like, actual planet packs in the shop, though. Scholar, no, not what we're looking for. Emperor could be. We already know we can get 50k. And we've only gotten stronger. Cool. Let's try and reroll that. I don't really care about the suit, so let's sell that. How does one get away with embezzling 10k a month? I need lessons from a professional, and I went to Vegas with my own Joker. They laughed when I told them my two of hearts is worth 18 billion chips. Little do they know it's actually worth 180b. Yeah, Vegas is... They're just lacking in that creativity, you know? I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know when I'm going to use this Hangman because my hand is so small and often contains cards that I want to keep or discard or play. Three is a card that I definitely wouldn't mind getting rid of. Maybe we just get rid of the three and the nine. How's the five looking? Five's fine. It's got a red seal on it. Apparently someone's at the door. Okay, we are, like, slowly but surely getting stronger. The fact that we're weak, again, does give us more time to set up the trousers, which gives us more time to get stronger, I guess. Alright, there's got to be a good joker in here, right? Something better than the certificate? Ooh, oh. Where have you been, square joker? I mean, I'd say it's too late, but it, there's no way it's too late, right? No, no. What is the boss blind? Get poor. Q. 
keep the jack. Right, we finally have chip values coming into the mix. Eights are probably a good keep here. No, I've already played eights. Sixes. I think we just get rid of everything. Look for the jacks. I would have hit the five. I told a bunch of investors that I was about to interrupt the gambling market and they gave me lots of money, but little did they know that what I meant was upending the high rollers table at the MGM Grand. Wait, well, that they were all sitting. I mean, you gave them fair warning. <laughs> What's their problem? Thank you, Kali. Exactly, anyways, I need bail money. Uh, it didn't fall off the table for you? Okay, I kind of want to go on a bit of a spending spree here anyway. It's number cards. It's cards of the... I can't make my hand smaller. Biggest anti I've hit? I think 12 or 13, I don't know. That's not really what I aim for most of the time. So, like, without having that specific goal in mind, it's not as easy to do. We're going to be very poor after this, unfortunately. Jacks are still looking good. Tens are also reasonable, but I believe in the jacks. I shouldn't have. There's a world where I hold this hand for my last hand played, but then I don't scale the uh, the square joker. So what becomes more important here? I think probably not losing. No, I was playing on anti or uh, white stake when I went to the high ante. Okay, that I think ended up being a good strategy. I had no point in looking. Might as I can't afford anything. I feel like we just proved that we could possibly beat this with, especially with a little bit more scaling. If I hit my two pair, geez. I haven't hit a single two pair yet. King's better than the ace. We're in the same situation here. We're not scaling the green joker, we're just not losing is the goal. Or not the green the square joker, not the green joker.
Okay, so I do need to draw a little bit better than that if I want to have a chance at uh, beating the extra large blind. Four, eights, five, kings are, I'm undervaluing, it turns out. This is not good. I've lost my capacity to draw a two pair reliably. I think we go for it here. Yeah, this is why. Okay, now we do the throwaway hand. Oh, I have my my Joker in the wrong spot. I need to make sure I don't make that mistake on the final boss blind, or we might be in some severe trouble. I still have no money. Okay, let's move this back before I forget. And actually hit a two pair somewhere. Oh my god, we've done it. Wait, this is actually a really good start. Compared to what we've been drawing. And back to what we've been drawing. Egg were cooked. Kings and jacks are probably the keep. Definitely get out of the two though. That ace might save me. I think we just go fully in here. Seventy-four plus forty-one. Pray for me, chat. Whoo! Now. Hear me out, if we can beat that, we should be able to beat the uh, the final boss as well, as long as we don't get giga-scammed. I don't know what the boss is. I don't have the money to support this right now. It would be great. But it's a bit of a gamble, right? Because I don't have econ at all. Like, I understand this is very good, especially with the blue seals that are themselves unreliable, as well as this. This is a guaranteed, what, 1.5? off the rip. Actually, two. Maybe it is just better. Right, because I sell this, I buy and sell this. And that's already better than the Acrobat. And I sell this. Yeah. It's just already at... It's already at two. Unfortunately, we didn't get the value from the first Soul Joker because I didn't have space for it, but it's got to be better long term. I'm not going to greed the planets, though. I just need to not die. Okay, maybe I should have greeted the planets.
There's nothing to buy here. Let's keep the jack. Eights are better than sevens. I think we can probably just get by by playing four cards and not stressing about it. Well, maybe not. Yeah, we can. So every hand is just kind of an acrobatics hand now, right? This should be, should be fine. I just wanted to make, as long as we hit one, two pair, yeah, it was going to be pretty free here. All right, we're getting more consistent at uh, being able to get runs going and complete it on gold stake. Ooh. So. It feels, it feels more doable than it did when we first start, started uh, chasing them. Thank you.